for a long time I've been saving a solo ascent of the Keoch nose on Skura Hurricane and Applecross for a perfect day. First climbed in 1960 by Chris Bonington and Tom Patey, it gives gloriously steep but easy climbing on grippy sandstone. I got up early to go and solo it to make sure I had the mountain to myself, but I wasn't expecting to be joined on the day by this amazing cloud inversion. Oh, what a morning. <laughs> we just walked up to the summit of Skura Hurricane and you can see the ridge of the Keogh behind me. You start off at the summit here, you drive to the top of the Bielach Nabah, the highest road in Scotland, and then you actually walk down to the start of this route. I was not expecting it to be in the cloud the whole morning as I was driving up, but I've just popped out the top of this inversion and look at that view. Just the tops of the hills coming out. Over there you can see the sky ridge in the distance. And then if I spin around to that way, in the distance behind me you can see the Torridon Hills. I've wanted to do the Keogh Nose for many years. It's just one of those easier routes that it's easy not to get round to when you're very focused on projects. I'm going to go and solo it this morning and we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes filming with the drone as well. It could be quite challenging, it always is. Right now, I must say, I just want to kind of have a wee seat and just enjoy this view. It's very nice, especially after spending a week in front of the computer working hard. <laughs> so the plan is to walk off the quarry rim behind me there, uh, descend down into the cloud and hopefully find my way to the foot of the Keogh so there's no visibility. I'm sort of in no rush because I quite like this inversion to break up. I hope it does break up because otherwise it'll be a very misty drone video. <laughs> so I'm just at the lip of the quarry. I've got to go down there. I'm not quite sure of the way down. Definitely not straight down there anyway. <laughs> so there's cliffs on that side. There is a descent gully here somewhere. I suspect that's it, just over there on the left. Oh, I don't want to go down there with this nice sunshine. I did also wonder if I might come out the bottom of the cloud and then have visibility to see my my way to the bottom of the Keogh. I hope so. Soon find out. Just made it to the bottom of the quarry. Just uh, taking a moment to look at that thing. Really nice boulder there. There's a beautiful problem behind me just on that wall. It doesn't look hard. I don't know if it's been done before. And I have sort of come out of the bottom of the cloud, just about see down the glen there, and the sun is starting to peek through, so ideally it would just be clearing as I'm starting to climb, that'd be beautiful. Keok Nose, made it to the start. That's the route up there. There's even some fresh chalk on it. So hopefully that chalk leads all the way to the top. And there's a nice breeze, so there'll be no midges while I wait a few minutes for the clouds to clear. There is, like that wind's moving things around, I don't think it'll be long, so I'm still going to get my stuff out and get ready.
just brilliant. Just such nice rock. Just sitting on the top of the Kioch nose itself. We've got the rest of the ridge, sticking a big tower there. And um, that's the steepest bit I still have to go. And then just all the wee summits along the ridge to the top. Just the rock is so good on that. 